warning. This is a Fragbox After Hours episode. There is swearing, mild language, not appropriate for children viewers. Enjoy. You need new glasses. I know. They look like goggles, Fabio. Come on. Do you need you need glasses? If anyone in Toronto knows where we can get proper glasses for Fabio, please comment below. Cause he looks ridiculous. You look ridiculous. I'm just gonna say it. You know what else is ridiculous? Let's get to the start of the show. Let's get to the start of the show. You are the start of the show. What is going on, Reefing Fam? The lights are out. Our overhead lights are on because it's late at night, and we are going to do in a moment a unpacking video. But before that, we're gonna make coffee. We're gonna have some pizza, and we're gonna prepare mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for what is about to come out of these cardboard boxes from Indonesia. What up, Bali? What up, Denpasar? What is going on, my reefing fam? Indonesia, thank you for having some of the nicest Acropora in the world. Bangsat! Let's get into it. What's the other one? Pizza Nova. 439, Papa Papa. Pizza Nova. No pizza? No worky. All right, what is inside these boxes? Lots and lots of coral, especially hard coral. SPS, Acropora, Millipora, all the poras of the world ah, are gonna be found in here. What do we find? No, Fabio, that's not the right knife. I what know. was it? What was it, your first day on the job? No, let me you're get fired. It. Get out of here. Um, ah. Oh, it's gonna be one of those videos. Okay. No. Before we get any further into the video, we will let you know this isn't gonna be a child-friendly one because uh, potty mouth Fabio here doesn't know how to not fucking swear. Um, no, we'll keep it. <laughs> we'll keep it. So, what's the, what's after PG? What's one more after PG? Fourteen. Okay. What's one more after that? Mature. I don't know. Before rated R, before, before we get demonetized R. and kicked off of YouTube, what's the one before that? This is a family you're, friendly. You're being fucking channel. dumb. You're being fucking dumb. So I'm gonna go downstairs and see if we can find a ghost in our haunted basement. Why do I always say the basement is haunted? Downstairs. You've seen you. What happened to you? Bro. What happened to you? When I was fragging here in the middle of the night, man. What happened? The shadows. I felt like there's I something. Swear, I thought you were in the store. Like, there, I, there is something. Times. Yeah, I know. I know. Finally, oh, finally, someone gets it because up until now, I've only, I've been the, been the only one here late at night. I like fragging uh, late at night. I really enjoy it. I find it therapeutic. I throw on a podcast or some music, usually some Joe Rogan or whatever audiobook I'm listening to on Audible. I just came down here to get razor blades and um, there is there is definitely something down here. Uh, oh my God, what is that light? Oh, oh, I scared myself. It's just the refugium. I thought it was a demon. Um, but there's something down here. It moves stuff. It is friendly. Um, we know you're here. We feel you. And I'm glad Fabio feels you too. And we wish you no harm. Let's go back upstairs quickly. Um, somebody told me once in one of the videos to light a candle and say some sort of prayer to get rid of it. But I don't know. I kind of like it. You know what? It gives us a little bit of charm here at the store. Here. This is what you need. The bumba clot. Okay. Oh, where'd you get those? There's like a box right there. In the okay. All ghosts and jokes aside, let's start opening some of these corals. If you're new to the channel, this is not a typical video for us. There's one here, it's got like two dead heads already. Oh, that's not a good sign. First one, DOA. Yeah, let's take a look at it. So what we do here... That's right here. So those have actually been dead for a while. So supplier, I'm not going to say your name. If you're watching this, hello, Alan. Hello, team. Don't send us torch corals with dead heads, please. Send nicer ones in this. So how do I know that it's been dead for a while? There's absolutely no mush there's nothing to it there's even a little bit of algae you see how different the color is if this would have died during transport we're gonna see full um white skeleton like fresh death is the way i'm gonna put it this is old death and that's just something i can tell from doing this for a while yeah so this one this one looks really good yeah the other ones look pretty good this is torch coral very popular in the hobby this is good for shipping this is good they look like crap right now they're all recessed and pulled in I'm actually gonna pull the filter off the camera so why do I say they look good because 
Hold on, let me take this lens off. They get stressed when they ship, but the way they're appearing, just to my sort of trained eye, they look good. That's, that's a good sign, and I expect them to open fully tomorrow. So what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, you look like, a, can you take the hoodie off? You look like you're here to work, but also rob the place at the same time. Oh, you know, we have a coral thief. We have ghosts and coral thieves to deal with. I know, I know it's there. I'm so glad that you feel it. Okay, so you're really bringing out the ADHD in me today. Videos are not normally like this. We do a lot, a lot of different types of videos. This is just one style of the many. We call this our unboxing or our vlog. What do I call it? Vlogcast? Because well, it's kind of like a podcast, but there's no pods. We're the cast. And it's like, a vlog. it's like a vlog. It's a little bit of an update. It's more commentary, shooting the shit as we unpackage with difficulty and one blue hand, a Acropora Valida. How do I know this is an Acropora Valida? It's just from the structure. You just come to know sort of the shape and you can tell from core lights over time what a certain type of Acropora is just based on the growth. I don't even need to see the color. I can tell you um, what it is. What is with these funky numbers if you're new? These are, oh, son of a flying businessman. We should have changed the racks before. Oh. oh my God. Why are we so slow? I'm still on Korea time. I just got back from Asia. We should have changed the racks. It's okay, it's done now. So what do I mean change the racks? The yeah, other covered in Coraline and purple. This is the stuff everyone wants in the beginning. This is a dread to anyone that is doing this for a living on the commercial side. We hate Coraline. We don't want Coraline. Coraline, you are the enemy. You're not amazing. You're not great. You're not Russia, you're not China, you just, that was my Trump impersonation, I'll stop. Um, Coraline is shit, we don't fucking want it. It covers everything, it makes a lot of cleaning and extra work for us, and what we should have done is swap these racks before we started doing what we're doing right now. So you always hear me say on the channel, do as I say, don't do as I do. Do the opposite of what I do. Do as I tell you to do, don't do, do what I say, don't do as I do. I need a shirt that says that. Um, Fabio just unpacked a beautiful bouquet hammer. Why is it a bouquet? Because it's probably got three to four different colors. So what they're doing now out of um, Indonesia and different countries is they'll take a bunch of different colors of hammer and then stick them on one plate, just like that. So we get this sort of bouquet hammer kind of effect. Let's go ahead and open some more because we have, uh, I think it's 16 or 17 boxes here. This is box number 15. I believe it's 17 and well into 400 pieces. So this normally takes us quite a bit of time. If you're watching from the UK, Reefing Fam UK, and you're looking for a Reef Casa Aquarium, or in-house brand, Advanced Aquarium Consultancy, AAC, Paul, the wanka, the cunt that he is, just got a shipment of them in. So if you're looking for Studio 12s, Flat 10s, the Pico, very popular one. I know it's kind of hard to see with the lights off. This is kind of stupid, but this is one of our most popular tanks. I believe he's got more than a dozen on hand. So check him out. A A C. Actually, asshole cunts. Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. Just kidding. They're not cunts. And if they are, they're lovely ones. Um, <clears throat> sorry, kids. This is just going to be one of those episodes. I've decided. This one's already fragged. Perfect. That's what we want. Pre fragged. Because then I don't have to fucking pay you to do it. <laughs> I just saved myself $5. Canadian, which is like 50 oh, cents look, one. American, people are going to ask us in this video, can you ship to the US? No. I mean, yes, we could, illegally, and then it would get stopped at the border, and potentially, and then they would take your corals away. I did it once in the past. I actually, um, I did it a couple times with some zoanthids, and then one time I tried some hard coral. Probably shouldn't be saying this, but I did. I told the guy, look, we'll give it a shot. He wanted some reef raft pieces, which are hard to come by in the U.S. There's the only reef raft that really matters was Reef Raft Canada. They're closed now, but the stuff was very valuable. Shipped it to him. Got stopped at the border. They didn't know what to do with it. Uh, they ended up sending it to a zoo in Chicago, and that was the last I ever heard of those poor corals. So <laughs> that is that's Fabio's actual laugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> me? I should be talking about the coral I'm holding, but you're distracting me. Why didn't they send them to SeaWorld? They did get yeah, SeaWorld Chicago. I don't know if there is a SeaWorld in Chicago. Uh, speaking about Chicago and the U.S., I will be coming to Aquashella, Chicago with Danny from Danny's Aquarium. Uh, I don't think he needs any introduction on YouTube. He's got one of the largest channels when it comes to saltwater aquariums uh, at the time of this filming i believe he's at 145 fucking thousand subscribers you know how many that is i think uh, our stadium here which we call i call it the sky dome but it's what's sky dome now called roger center what's the the big the big stupid one i think it's roger center where we watch baseball and we watch our our team lose the blue jays because they stink but anyways it seats 20 uh 22 thousand people only? What do you mean only? I thought Sky Dome was old more. 22,000 only? What do you mean only? That's a lot of people. And how many are at the event? Uh, I don't know. If it's sold out, 22,000 people. Chicago. Okay, no. What I'm trying to say is Danny's Aquarium yeah. has, can fill right. seven, seven Sky Domes. This is so fucking hard with one hand um, with his channel in terms of his subscribers. It's a lot. So. He's going to be coming over to visit Fragbox, make a video, see Toronto with our lovely cunt friends at AAC. What is that? That is a uh, bag of ice because it's so hot in Indonesia, they actually have to ship it with ice packs. Right. And then it gets here and it's cold. So, But this is actually okay time of year. It's not too bad out. Man, I'm getting so distracted. Let me finish one thought. Don't talk to me for 65 seconds. 69 seconds. Ha 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 ha. How come we didn't get them from Australia? I'm done. I give up on that fucking idea. I don't care what I was trying to say. AAC, Paul, from England, coming here with his lovely wife, Angela. And they are coming to check out Fragbox with Danny. He's coming. We're having the Europeans over here. We're hosting them. We're going to make some content. We're going to jump in the car. Then we're going to drive our RV to Aquashella. We're going to come visit you guys in Chicago. And finally, if that wasn't enough, we are going to visit Tidal Gardens, the Mecca, the fucking Mecca of coral. We had the pleasure of visiting, what is it, 2024? What year is it? Your hair is distracting. 2024. What are you doing with that hair? What's your, what's your goal here with this vibe? Uh, Undecided? Remember you said grow it back long. Oh yeah, grow it back long, yeah. That's cute. Fabio used to be a hair model. So, 2024, we're gonna go visit again. Tidal Gardens It's just a magical, magical place. I don't think Dan really understands how beside myself and how cool and how much I look up to him and everything he's done there. It's really, we're gonna, we're gonna do some great content, shoot some videos, and if that wasn't enough, you're like, enough, March, I can't handle, it. it's just too much. You're just overwhelming us with all this. You just do so much for us and it's just for free and we love, we just love Fragbox TV and we love you guys and your stupid fucking dog digs and I've never met him but I wanna pat him and you know, it's, it's enough, March. You've done enough over the past three years. That's me imitating you, by the way. Uh, sorry. We're gonna do a podcast on the, oh, that is a nice piece, the Tidal Gardens podcast. If you don't, if you ha haven't seen it or heard of it, he's had some really cool guests. I think the first one was our friend Phil, the owner Phil. of Phil Polyp Lab. Uh, I would say arguably the best and most popular coral food on the market. Polyp Lab Refroid has been around forever. Great stuff. He was in episode one. Um, lovely woman on episode two. I'm sorry, your voice is escaping me. Or your name, not voice. Voice is what is coming out of my mouth. And then third was uh, Mr. BRS. And I don't know where we're going to fall in line between us, I think fourth or fifth. But Than at Tidal Gardens is setting up special equipment just so our dumbasses can all be recorded and heard at the same time so i think that's pretty cool and we are honored and can't wait to do that so that's going to be a fun summer what else is coming uh i have to go to a wedding in the uk there's a lot of traveling this year actually there's a lot of traveling always because you know what this is my this is the way i look at it i don't want to wait until i'm 65 and old and decrepit and lazy and fatter than my fat fucking ass already is to travel and see the world. I don't want to wait. I want to do it now while I'm young and I still have energy and my memory still works because I don't have fucking Alzheimer's. Yeah. So I, yet, so I can remember the places. And um, so I, 
I never thought that the I would be traveling so much, but YouTube is really giving me the opportunity to do that, and I want to take advantage as long as I can and take time off and see the world. I feel like I'm quickly becoming one of the like most um, well-traveled reefing YouTubers out there. Um, it's just so cool to meet people and, and keep doing this, so I'm going to keep doing it again as long as I can. So UK is only for, I think, Three days, I can't stay too long this time because whatever, I have a life outside of Fragbox, believe it or not. So it's only gonna be three or four days, but if you guys wanna meet up, add AAC again, maybe do a pub, hang out, shoot the, I don't know if you guys, do you guys say shoot the shit in England? Shoot the shin. Shoot the shin? No, I, do you get, what, what's the saying in England for shoot the shit? Like, should we munch on some crisps? Or like, what do you say when you just, Hanging around and have a chat, mate. Have a chat, mate. Would you? We will come to England and discuss royalty. That's my uh, attempt at an English accent. Would you like to try? All right. Cheers. <laughs> that was. Cheers, was just, mate. You're, you sound Australian, mate. You sound like you should be down under, mate. Maybe the dingo. Maybe the dingo ate your baby. Okay, maybe I should actually get to work because I think I've done less than one box. No, uh, don't worry. no, no, just keep talking? Yeah. You know what's pretty cool? About 50% of people will stop watching the video right now. In this moment, we get about 50% drop off. And then the ones that do stay, they're usually gonna stay until the end, so. They get the treasure. They get the treasure, they get the real laughs, they get the fucking gold, they get the giveaways when I'm in a good, good mood and just start handing out AI Primes and, and Reef Casa Halos. Here, let's give out one of these before the end of the video. Reef Casa Halo, I don't know how. How do we do it? Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. You gotta comment below. If you make him laugh, okay, you make him laugh, he's gonna pick who gets it. Keep it clean, okay, keep it clean. And right. keep it about the topic to make Fabio laugh is something to do with a frag box. How long do they have? They have until the end of the video. They have until two days. And then we're going to go through all the comments. Yeah. We're going to go until Friday. I don't know. Friday is, oh, Saturday. maybe at the club frag box on Friday. Yeah. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know when this video is going to come out. So they don't always come out like in order. If you've noticed, I am... Coming out tomorrow, yo. I was going to say I'm as organized as a squirrel because I like that saying. But no, I'm more organized. What Slightly, slightly more organized than a squirrel. But when it comes to the videos, um, sometimes not so organized. They'll just... Squirrels are organized. Man. Squirrels are not fucking organized. What do you mean squirrels are organized? Don't they bury all their nuts in the fall and get them that's in the not, spring? That's not organized. That's just survival skills. I don't, I don't know if I would say that's organized. It's more organized than other animals. Okay, as opposed to what? What, what are we comparing it to? Clownfish. Clownfish. This is like apples to oranges. We're comparing squirrels and clownfish, and which ones are more organized? Birds. You know what? I completely forgot well, what I was talking about. Are kind of you are an exacerbator of ADHD. Yes. <laughs> no, no fucking disagreement there. Just yes. Which tangent do you want to go on to next? <laughs> How did that happen? Next tangent. Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. The ghost is here. It. <laughs> what, the, what the heck? Okay. Uh, Acropora tenuous. Check it out. You want it easy to keep, Acro? You want to venture into the world that is hard coral? You want to waste your time, money, and cry next to your aquarium on your hands and fucking knees because they die for no reason? Hmm? I'm talking to you. Yes. And, and four to six thousand other people. This is the one to, to try because this is a little bit easier, easier than the one Fabio just put in the tank, which is the granulosa. Why do I say easy? These corals do not like changes in water parameters. They want consistency. So what we're aiming for here, I'll try and provide a little information instead of just being an idiot for the entire video. What we try to do here is uh, maintain salinity of one, oh, hold on, pop quiz. What's our salt supposed to be at? Fired. 1.026. Alkalinity. Fired. 7.7. .7. Would you like to keep your job? Calcium. There's the door, buddy. 450. Magnesium 1500. Where do we find these people? Where do we find them? I, me and Fabio actually went to high school together and he's worked here on and off for the past mm, seven years. Yeah. Seven years on and off. Uh, it's probably made well over 100,000 frags. 
He's just starting to do um, help on the retail side. So if you see his beautiful face and his man bun behind the desk, because he's six foot four and you can see it even while he's sitting. Uh, say hi to him. This is M Mr. Faria, AKA Fragmaster, AKA... Um, Fragmaster OG. Fragmaster OG, AKA father of three. Yeah. A yeah, Daddy Frag, we'll call him. Daddy Fragmaster. So these acros are looking really good so far. And we don't want changes in the water. To come back to what I was saying, we want them to be as consistent as possible without fluctuations and as close to natural seawater at all times, as, as close as we can keep it to that. And that's when we really find success with the acros. We want nitrates. Okay, I'm gonna be, if you follow reefing instruction we want gonna yeah they're gonna get KO'd by this hammer so we want to move this yeah I like to do euphilia usually over here so nitrates we want to keep sort of on the lower end that's if from our readings um, that's like between I would say 2 and 5 ppm and the same would go for phosphates somewhere around 0 0.03 which is quite low and about what we find in the ocean what I'm starting to experience over time is that those numbers are not as important um, I have consistently high nitrates and phosphates in a system over there you can't see because the lights are out, which is our display tank. The nitrates are through the roof, they're around 50, and the phosphates are undetectable. They're so high with our HANA ULR parts per billion phosphorus detector. I can't even get a reading. Super, super high. My growth is remarkable. I'm very happy with the color on the acro. I can't show it to you because the lights are off. There's 808 other videos out there on the channel. I'm sure that if you search, you'll find one where I'm talking about um, the corals in that tank. They look really, really good. So that tank is sort of fucking messing with my um, ideas of what acros really need to thrive and be happy in a closed setting like this. But typically in this, in this one, I would say don't do, haha, we're back at it. Do as I say, don't do as I do, okay? Yo, that guy's actually standing out of the water. I know, I didn't think about this. We might have to move some of the tall ones from there into the fragoon. So just, yeah. you're not gonna run into any issues by keeping your nitrates and phosphates on the lower end if you wanna try keeping Acropora. Go back and watch the video actually from Cherry Corals. A really, really good video. Someone in the shop just brought it up the other day. 96. How do you sell all this, man? How I sell it? Uh, people buy it. So, like cherry corals video, very good. Maybe you're waiting for the next frag box video to come out after this one. There's a lot of gold on there. You can go back and watch some of them. If you want some recommendations of sort of my videos, I think that are worth watching, uh, all of them. But also, if you want to keep zoanthids, one of the first early, early videos I did was on zoanthids. It's called The Secret to Keeping Zoas. Going back and watching it, I'm like, damn, you know what? It's a pretty good video. It pretty much covers everything you need to know about zoanthids. The first video shot at AAC with Paul. Great video. Uh, the Tidal Gardens video, Danny's Aquarium again. You know, love these guys. Great video. No filter, no skimmer. Tank's been running three years. Some of the comments are really funny. Um, people are... Uh, what's another way of saying? I don't want to say stupid or Witty. uneducated or ignorant. Witty, no. What's another way? I, I'll, it'll, come, funny. it'll come to me after. But they like. I guess you didn't watch or listen to the video, and they're saying in the comments, "Man, this tank is gonna crash and burn in two weeks." No, the tank's been up and fucking running for three years, dumbass. The whole point of the video is him sh explaining how, how he's able to keep a tank without a filter. And without a skimmer, using live rock. I saw that one. It's a great video. He's a yeah. young kid who figured out that less is more. The secrets to keeping a reef tank is just to fuck off. Less, just keep your hands out. You don't need the fancy equipment. Although he does have some beautiful lights and some nice ATO and stuff, but no skimmer. That everything Ooh, looks great, right. and it's three years old. I don't know what more you want from the from the reef tank. So that's a great one. Um, there's one I really like in Indonesia from this supplier, actually, where we're diving. Um, and I'm underwater. We're at the farm, picking coral, taking it out of the ocean, fragging them, putting the frag, cementing them onto these bases, exactly like you see right here. And then going back and planting them underwater. That was a really cool experience, and I felt super reconnected 
No, maybe not even reconnected. Connected truly for the first time to some of the things that we sell here because I was so disconnected from where they were coming from and everything that happens behind the scenes. Up until that point, I had just been ordering on an Excel sheet. So I get some photos. Actually, these acros, no photos. This supplier I've been dealing with for a long time. And just based on the species, I more or less know that what we're gonna get in. And mm, there's really no need for photos because they know what we like, I know what we like, and it just works out where photos aren't needed. But um, mm, I felt very disconnected because ordering from the Excel sheet and dealing with the email, never having shook his hand or you know simply met to face to face, and then going out and seeing the farm, seeing how they care for it, seeing where they live, seeing where they're from. It was just such a cool experience and I can't wait to get back out to Indonesia. I don't think it's gonna happen this year and I'd really like to visit Australia before uh, I go back to Indonesia or maybe somehow squeeze them in on the same trip because I wanna see the Great Barrier Reef. I wanna meet those suppliers in person because it's just, it's networking, it's travel, it's vlogging, it's YouTube, it's amazing. Uh, if Alejandro was here, we would say, it's amazing! Miss you, Jalapeno! Alright, I'm not glad that this happened, because we never want to see them perish, ever, during shipping or any other point. Remember a second ago when I said, this torch looks really good? Um, let me show you what they look when they don't look good after shipping this. You see the sliminess that's coming off of it? That's not good. That is a really, really poor sign. I'm seeing way too much skeleton. This is the one that I took out 20 minutes ago and I said, hey, it looks pretty good. Look how it's already opening. See that? That's the one that I was shitting on. I said so our supplier already sent us one dead head. That's that one there. So you can see the difference between old dead head. These look good. And then fresh death this is what I call fresh death. Like It's actively melting. I actually oh, no. see no chance of this one making it. I'm going to remove it from the tank now because all it's going to do is die and pollute the waters and that's it for this piece it's the end of its life we never want to see that sort of jelliness so i'm sad that it happened no video is complete without a fucking battery dying so i'm sad that it happened i'm glad that you got to see it on camera though um so at least some sort of education hopefully i don't know what you learned but maybe something came out of this new angle who dis okay so <clears throat> senor fabio yeah how would you say the shipment is going so far it's going well that's it that's the only adjective you want to use well standard you know standard we got a few i think this is above well we got a few man down but not many i, I know the one torch maybe that one acro another was, torch i just opened to uh, i would say this is above standard this is a, this is i'm a very happy man right now if the happiness was based on the coral health of this shipment, something so satisfying about a tank full, eh? It's looking pretty good, man. It's not a very good Something very satisfying about a tank full, eh? Eh? Do me and Fabio sound Canadian to you? Comment below. We uh, want to know if we sound like a Canadian. Well, I don't know if we sound Canadian, eh? Hey, the, hey bud. Check out that fucking acro there, eh, bud? Wow. Hey, bud. Well, why don't we go for a rip But after this? We'll go to Timmy's. Get some hey. tidbits, eh, bud? Hey, pal. Double, double. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. You're not that guy. Timmy's is not real coffee. No, I'm sorry. My Italian blood does not accept the Tim Hortons as real coffee. You know what's real coffee? Dunkin' Donuts. Now we're talking. Get that Colombian bowl. <laughs> what? Speaking about coffee, I, me, March, this guy, wants to set up a coffee machine here at the front of the store because two reasons, three reasons. I don't know how many reasons. I'm going to start listing them off. I like coffee. <laughs> I want to share coffee with you folk. Um, and I think there's just something very nice and pleasant about having a coffee while you're shopping. And I feel like it has the effect of making customers feel relaxed and then hopefully yeah. the anticipated intention of that would be spending more money. Haha! -ha. No, it's not about the money. It's never been about the money. Coffee costs money. Um, so I want a coffee machine. 
for those reasons, I also saw a lot of them in Europe when I was touring Netherlands with Patrick. Proper, not coffee machines, I mean like, not like Keurig and espresso, one second, we're tossing out water. Fabio, talk to the camera. All right, everyone, we're just having a brief intermission. I like to look at these lovely corals. Can you check them out? They'll be updated online very soon. Why do you sound like a robotic, you like AI. This guy isn't even real. This is just a very sophisticated new app. Maybe you guys saw the uh, video that I did in Japanese. You didn't know I was fluent actually in Japanese. That was me testing out this translator app. I'm not gonna use it. I was just sticking around. It, I, I thought it was cool, but uh, not gonna happen again. So, coffee. Lots of places in the Netherlands proper espresso coffee machines like somebody behind there has to go take the bean grind it fill it up make you a proper coffee i'm going to set up uh, an espresso so not that intense same thing in korea every shop that i walked into unannounced they didn't know i was coming i didn't give them any warning i didn't make any appointments like a fucking asshole i stroll into my high horse with my camera and go hi from Redbox in Canada, can I make a video? And uh, obviously they all said yes. And before that, they all offered me a coffee within a couple minutes of walking in the store. Even with the sub shops that there was a language barrier, I'm clearly a foreigner, I'm not Korean, I'm SEO, Shibal, they right away came up to me and, and we would sort of communicate the best we could. But coffee was always part of that conversation. So I've been talking about it for a long time. Why am I talking about it so much? Because when I suggested it to Senor Bumbleclaw over here, yeah, he says, "No, man, coffee. We we just cleaned up the whole shop. This is me impersonating you, by the way. Yeah, this, this is how Do you it. sound. I'm Fabio. Look at my man bun. Uh, no, we can't put coffee because hey, March, you wanted to get rid of all the boxes, but now you just traded the boxes for bodies. Because <laughs> the front." <laughs> Pretty good impersonation, huh? What is he talking about? <laughs> What's this Bumbleclaw talking about? Over here. Look at this wall. We just cleared out everything. We're not doing any more shipping, receiving, packing at the front door like fucking idiots. We want it to be presentable, so no more boxes at the front door. You had to trip to get in the store before. It was crazy. All of that's being handled in the back of the store out of sight, out of mind. That's where I want to put the coffee machine and that's why he's saying you traded boxes for bodies because now we're going to be stuck with people's big bums at the front door trying to make coffees. And But you know what? Bodies can move. Bodies can say, excuse me, uh, pardon me, please, sorry, watch my, watch my app, you know? Get the fuck out of Get the, the way. Get the fuck out of the way. Boxes. Boxes, they, they, they don't, don't talk. Boxes don't they give no Fs. And when you get mad, you kick them. Yeah. Like. No. <laughs> we don't talk about that. We don't talk about Bruno. Okay, so, boxes. A customer's not going to come in, see a bunch of boxes. Like, no normal sane customer is going to come in, see a bunch of boxes, and then start moving them. It's not going to happen. It's never happened. No. But if someone's, I don't know why I keep saying fat ass, if someone's normal size, rear is in your way you can squeeze by you can say excuse me there's a lot more room so i think we're going to go ahead with operation coffee i like the idea of coffee you traded boxes for bodies bro i just feel like coffee should go maybe like where aqua forest is mm, it would make sense because oh. it would kind of draw you in more a little bit deeper in the store I don't want it to get missed. I want people to know that coffee is an option. I'm not going to come over and make it for you unless you ask very nicely. What about when the construction workers open the door and just make coffee and leave? Fuck the construction, fuck the construction workers. I did not fuck all construction workers. <laughs> fuck the ones that are working on the building next door and park in our parking lot park. every day. And I go out there and confront them and nicely tell them, hey, buddy, Asshole, how many times do I have to nicely tell you that the parking spots in front of my store are reserved for customers of here in this plaza? Not for the electricians working down over here the fucking... This is, this is why uh, we, what we say... What are we going to call this episode? After Hours? Yeah, don't, don't let your children watch the After Hours episodes. Oh, you know what? That's what we'll do. Because I had the one video where I was swearing my tits off about... A orange sponge decorator crab. And you guys loved it. 
you got the feedback on that video is like, yeah, Marge, you're a sailor, please. Son of a bitch, why don't you swear some more? And uh, I don't want to. I don't think we need to. I want to keep it family friendly, but maybe we can do this where after hours. the after hours, the vlog cast is no whole, no whole, what's it say, no whole part, no whatever. No bars, whole, whole bars. It's not censored. It's somewhere between rated R and the other one that we couldn't figure out at the beginning. What is it? Rated R and rated rated M for sure. Eighteen plus. No, because you can be sixteen and still. I'm for mature. Like you know, I never, kids. I never really understood the like don't swear at kids thing, because they already know all the words. They're, go they're gonna learn it. If they don't learn swear words, they have bigger social problems. It means that you've locked them up in the basement and they're tied to a ch with chains to a piece of furniture. <laughs> Nobody goes through life not learning. And my parents used to swear at us, okay, and. Uh, we knew they were serious, you know, when they said, don't do that, don't do that. My father in his very ESL Hispanic accent, don't fucking do that. Then you know, oh my God, Papa's really mad. Papa said, Papa said, fuck guys, he's, he's angry. I don't know why I'm trying to justify swearing at kids. I take everything I just said back over the past 120 seconds. Um, let's get back into the coral. I see a really big aphasia that we should nuke going on the racks, and this is part of why we changed the racks as well. Right. You're gonna get aphasia. You're not, I don't know anyone that keeps the tank long enough that doesn't get aphasia or a pest. It's gonna happen. And once you do, your tank is over, you might as well sell it and quit the hobby because you're done, buddy. You're finished. No, um, it's just part of the hobby, and you learn to manage it. I got that idea from Jake Adams. That is not a, uh, oh. not genuine, no, that is not a, what's, what am I thinking? Uh, it's not my idea. It's not a. You quit the hobby and you sell your tank. It's not a March official idea. It was from a Jake that Adams video, and what he said was, "It's all part of the journey, man." That's it. That's the process, bro. It's it's just becomes a game of management. You have an outbreak. You add some peppermint shrimp. You add copper bands. You add Aptasia eating filefish. You add Burgi and Nudibranchs. You buy some Aptasia X or F Aptasia. Frank's F Aptasia, another great product and you get rid of them and then you don't see any for some time and then they pop up and, and, it, comes back. and it comes back and it's cyclical like everything is in life they just want to live you know they're ugly and they happen to kill corals but they're not evil they're not like my ex-wife they just have to oh ho -ho! boom 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 shot oh, not even worth it uh, they're just aptasia they're just they're just part of part of the game so we need a box we need a box here we can take this one this is a very tight space for two, well, empty too. two fat guys, huh? Hey, we didn't always used to be fat. Well, I used to be really fat, so I lost 100 pounds, and I was looking good, and then I met this stupid girl I'm dating, and she cooks so goddamn good, and now I'm getting fat again. That's how they do it. That's man. how they girls. do it. Them, them girls, man. She just, she just cooks too good for me my fat butt to say no. Uh, just throwing this right out, eh? It's done, yeah, that's the, that's the torch. You want to say a little prayer before we send them off? Are you saying it in silence or in your head? Uh, Mr. Torchy. What do you mean, Mr.? What if it's a missus? How dare you fucking misgender that torch? <laughs> torch of... I couldn't Miss, do that with a straight face. Uh, torch of whatever gender gender you identify <laughs> whatever as. Whatever generator you are. Whatever wattage you you identify as. I feel like we just lost at least two subscribers. I hope that you go up to Torch Heaven and become a guardian angel looking down upon the torches that survived in the store. Namaste. Namaste. Thank, thank you, Torch. Uh, those are the guardians. Or you can keep the skeleton. I'm not going to feed it to Diggs. Diggs doesn't like dead torches. Only alive ones. Well, any life ones. Wanna, here, I'll switch with you. You want to take this bin? So, okay. come up with an ingenious way next time we do a shipment so we can stop walking to the door with these things. I'm going to take one of our little okay. bins here. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom. I'm going to put a bulkhead on it. And then I'm going to plumb it with some flexible poly hose out the door. So, instead of having to fill up a bin and then take it to the door, I'll just be able to cut it like a serial killer and keep keep the water flowing. Okay, we're gonna switch. You talk to the camera and I'll go throw it to the 
Tell them about your new tape that's coming. Fabio is getting in the hobby officially after eight years. So, I'm getting a new tank. Your first tank? My first tank. It's going to be 400 gallons. Try, will, try again. It's going to be, sorry, 400 liters. Yeah, that's about right. Right? Yeah, 400 liters. It's about 400 gallons minus 360 gallons. It's going to be a custom tank. It is. And what are you going to put in it? We'll see. It's going to basically be like a graveyard of <laughs> leftover acro or skeletons. Fabio takes. I guess you he save everything. He's a hoarder. It's not save everything. Saving everything would mean that there's some intrinsic value to the shit that you take home. This guy's a a fucking dumpster diver. Anything I yeah. throw, he goes, bro. Why are you throwing this out? You might, you might need it. You might need this. You're a dumpster diver. You're a hoarder. The first step to recovery is what? Uh, denial. I mean, after denial, the opposite acceptance. of acceptance. Acceptance. The admission of guilt. Okay, would you like to stay on camera in front of everyone? Um. Hi, my name's Fabio, and I'm a hoarder. Say it. Hi, my name is Fabio, and I like to save stuff. <laughs> You're such an idiot. You don't save anything. Okay. If, if I don't flush the toilet fast enough, he'll come pull my poop out. <laughs> if you save everything. Dude, no. you might need this one day. We should make that into a YouTube short after this. No. Yes. That's, uh, I think that's where we draw the line. That's where after hours, we don't want it to get like weird. I think this it's is... Family friendly content. This is not that family friendly. It's kind of taking a turn for the worse. But uh, I'm sure there's at least one or two people out there driving to work and it's really dark out like the sun hasn't even come up yet because you work a job that requires you to be there like some unholy hour like 8 a.m <laughs> so you're driving there and uh it's dark out and you've decided to put on this after hours frag box exclusive Vlogcast, podcast, whatever you want to call it. There's a few of you. Because you just cannot get enough of the sound of my voice. Yes. And the stupidness that me and Fabio come up with as we unpackage. I would say, wait, fuck you, man. Better than standard. This is not standard. This is nice. Look at this. I give you the ocean. This is above standard. I'll cut you. Express. I, I will cut it's you. Express. I wonder where YouTube turns off monetization. Like if if I cut him, like violence, is that the line? Like let's say. Oh. No. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think you can monetize. But I would still have to call the police. This, yeah, but this and is. And if you cut me and I don't call the police, then nothing happens. This is not Twitter. This is not Instagram. There's no like snuff videos on YouTube. All right. Anyways. Yeah, let's not cut each other. Let's get down to the last box. Let's show them some acro. Okay, I'll show them the acro, and you take this. All right. I'll show you. Damn it, you gave me back the one I was trying to pawn off to you. Is this even recording? Can you imagine? None of that was recording and just went down the drain. What a waste. All that talking for nothing. Okay, let's see what we got here. Zoanthids? Yeah. Beautiful. Do we have enough? And Zoas, I think there's going to be another 50 in those boxes. This oh. looks like I'm getting chintz here, but there should be some more. Check out some nice Why? Millicora. Why do you think they're small? Why do you think no, chintz. are chintzy? You know that? I was talking to the staff last year, the ones that don't work here anymore. Frick and Frack and whatever the names are. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, they didn't know what chintz meant. Chintz? Everyone knows what chintz. Yeah. Chintz is like... Ripped off. Ripped off. Yeah, when you chintz it. Like, hey, I bought the colony. Uh, then, less than what you're supposed to. Right, and then let's say someone took a frag off right before you know you saw you chinsed it. Chinsed it. They didn't know. They didn't know what chinsed. Shorted it. us. It made me feel really older than 33 years old. Okay, these millies, very nice polyp extension. Check them out. Just out of the bag. Some I saw Acropora plana, personal favorite of mine. Very cool piece. Peacock plana. 
Lots of tenuous. That's the Valida I was talking about earlier. Aquapora Florida. Let me do a, a zoomed out sort of top down shot so you can kind of see how good they're looking. You got Florida from Indo? Yeah, it's called Aquapora Florida, but yeah, it's not from Florida. It's looking really, really good so far. So usually what we're gonna do is uh, let them chill for about a couple days. If you guys are coming to the Frag Box Club meeting on Friday, you'll get some of the first looks. You had to have RSVP'd already, we're already full. We were only gonna do 20 people, we extended it to 26. It's far too many already for the store of the size, so that's it for this one. Uh, eventually we're gonna have little cards that we give out for Fire being capacity. yeah you guys you know what it's worth joining because we'll do our, our maybe once a season meet here at the shop we'll have some beer some wine i'm gonna order some pizza shoot the shit or eat the crisps as they say in england uh talk about the queen <clears throat> you guys are gonna get first dibs on any promos or sales we have in the store i want to make it really an exclusive club that people want to join and there's a lot of going to be some really cool benefits you know like uh, I think at the first one, what I'm going to do is give away a free thing of March's new coral curry, or my secret coral sauce that I've uh, that we've released. Just for coming to the meeting, you can take home um, a free thing of it to try it out. Things like that, and, and and just try and build like a little bit stronger community like we had before COVID. I want reefers to kind of get to know each other. You know, you come in the shop on a Saturday; it's quite busy here, and you see other familiar faces that you may have seen at a Frag Box Club event. I really want the cards. I want the cards like a VIP sort of like a black card that gives you some sort of special perk um, every time you come in the store. I'm not sure if it would be like uh, a percentage off or you know this season you can have a free coral that we oh my god that's disgusting. That was a cockroach. Or a free, free something something that makes it worth joining and you have to come to at least one meeting in the course of a year. Otherwise, we're gonna give your spot up to someone else. That's what I mean about exclusive. I'm not gonna give out a thousand cards. Yeah, you gotta be part of the community. It's not like, it's not a one and done sort of thing. I really wanna build something um, here and uh, I can't wait to do that with you guys. So that's gonna be this Friday, which is March 1st. If all goes well, we'll do another one probably uh, May, this guy's off to Barbados again. You just took over our shipping and you're already fucking off. That's four weeks of vacation in your first six weeks of work. You've taken 66% vacation time four out of the first six weeks. Vacation. What, what six weeks? Is Fired. Seven years. Fired. Firebox is now hiring. I don't know why I'm doing that accent. I'm going to wrap up this video. We'll do the follow-up video. We'll let them chill. We'll see how they're looking in a couple days. I'll pick up the camera again. We'll keep it family friendly. I'm not going to square and I'm going to keep it way more informational. I hope you enjoyed this video. I need a thumbs up if you want us to fucking do it again. And if not, can you do a thumbs down? Yeah, you can do a thumbs down. Give me one of those and tell me, uh, tell me off. Tell me to go below. We'll see you guys back here on the next episode of Frankbox TV. Bye for now.